Today in this lecture of object oriented programming with C++ we will discuss about very important topic that is default argument. So basically C++ compiler it will provide us a facility where the program can assign some default values in the function prototype declaration or the function declaration. So during prototype declaration we can pass or we can initialize some default value also. Suppose a function is called without parameters or with less parameter in that case those previously assigned default values will be applied in that case or it will be used for the function operation. So one point we need to remember here is that only the trailing argument can have the default values and the default values are added from the right to left direction only. If any value is missing, so from the for the missing values from the right to left direction the value will be assigned. And another point we need to mem uh, we need to remember that in the middle of a particular list it is not possible to provide default value of a particular missing element. The missing element value will be replaced with the right to left direction from the function declaration only. So this is the use of default argument and uh, let's analyze one example where default argument how it is working we can see. So here in the first example we have taken two example here. So in the first example uh, we have taken a function some function inside main function. So here some function is the default argument it is containing the default argument and it is inside the main function. So inside main function a value, b value, c value and d four integer variable are initialized with some default value that is 20, 30, 60 and 50 and uh, x, y, z, q value are initialized and in c out statement we have called the sum function one by one. So in the first C out statement here sum function is called with all the values that is x, y, z, q. So here no need to assign for default argument because all the value are called. No missing values are there. So when this function is called uh, this sum function will be executed and uh, x, y, z, q value that is 2, 3, 4, 10 all this value will be summed up and the output that is 19 will be written and uh, when the second C out statement is called here you can see X and Y value are present whereas Z and Q value are missing. So for the missing value Z and Q we will choose the default argument from our uh, default argument list which is already initialized in the function prototype declaration. So for X and Y we will take the values that is 2 plus 3 plus for z value we will take 50 for q value we will take 60 because we are taking from right to left direction only from the function prototype declaration. Similarly when the third c out statement will be called here you can see all the values are missing and uh, in such case the default values a 20, B 30, C 60 and D 50 will be replaced uh, during the function definition and it will result the value that is 160 here. And uh, when the C out statement, fourth C out statement will be executed in such case uh, we have Z and Q value uh, as here but X and Y value are missing. So for Z and Q value we will take the original value that is 4 and 10. For X and Y value again the default two values will be assigned that is 50 plus 60. So it will result 124. So 50 plus 60 it will result 124. So in this way, first example uh, will work it will result this particular output when we will execute this program. So here in this case what happened we have declared the default argument before the function definition. So here the function definition but here we have taken the uh, default argument declaration. But in the second example we can analyze here that the main function inside the main function we have called the function 
but the function definition is before the main function so inside the function definition only we have declared the default argument so in main function for the second example three integer variable a equal to 2 b equal to 3 and c equal to 4 are initialized in the first c out statement inside the sum function all the value are passed no missing argument are there so for a equal to 2 b equal to 3 and c equal to 4 all will be added here and this will return the value x y z so it will return the value x y z uh, it will return and it will give us as 9 similarly for the second c out statement b and c value is present but our a value is missing so b and c value that is 3 plus 4 is there but a value is missing so for a value from the default argument list we will th choose 30 because it is a first element from the right to left direction similarly for the third c out statement we have only one value with us that is a value is 2 rest of the two elements are missing so again we will choose the default argument from our function definition so 30 plus 20 that is 52 will be the output and for the fourth c out statement all the values are missing so all the default values will be added and it will be written that is uh, 30 plus 20 plus 10 so it will return the value like 60 here so for any missing value or if we are passing uh, or we are calling the function with less number of parameter in such case default values will be assigned from right to left direction only and it will be work for only the trailing elements so this is all about default argument it has also application in the programming like in banking sector where there is a fixed number of value will be there so instead of calling those number that will be taken as a default variable so this is all about default argument thank you